so i would want to show you this experiment whereby the weights are unbalanced by the action of difference in lever arms on uh, this side the arms will be always pointing towards the ground so the lever arms will be shorter on this other side but when you go to this other side the arms will be extended away from the center where the arms will be longer to achieve this i rotate it backwards so that all the arms get extended on the right hand side in my view in my view let me show you so in my right hand side where i'm holding with my hand you will see that the arms now are all extended but on the left hand side the lever arms or the weights are pointing towards the ground and they are a lot shorter um lever arm so i'll release this arrangement or this uh, system so this weight is at point zero where i'm pointing with my index finger so when i release it i want to see how far this system is able to rotate i'll release now and then we see so as you can see it rotates and an angle of around 180 as you can see the weight has just uh, disappeared around here where i'm pointing with my index finger again so i can comfortably say that the system has rotated 180 degrees owing to the fact that one side of the wheel was having a longer arm the right hand side and the other side of the wheel was having a shorter lever arm so what i want to see is is this momentum which is being created of rotating an angle of 180 degrees is this momentum or this um, moment strong enough to lift to lift the next weight as i can point it's the next weight from the zero point with, with that 180 degree rotation or the momentum created by the differences in lever arms able to, to lift this one so that we have a continuous motion whereby every time the weight comes to zero position it is lifted by that momentum so i release again for confirmation very good the one degree 180 degree rotation is there the only question i have now is if from the zero point which is this sorry i'll go back again to get the zero point again this is zero point is the next weight after zero degrees which is here is it able to be lifted by this moment let's see again there was some interruption let's see again we release it at zero point this is yeah slightly less than 180 degrees let's uh, incorporate this one way to see whether it has some advantage so second break this one so let's see now we bring it this is at zero zero then we release it actually it goes to 180 degrees so the next challenge is determining if the second weight after zero degrees is able to be lifted like this like this by the momentum and then that means you'll be able to, con to to get a continuous motion to do that i have incorporated a pulley here this pulley this is a pulley which is attached with a mechanism for lifting the next weight so the momentum is supposed to rotate this pulley and then the pulley will help to lift 
the next weight and then give us a continuous motion let's see that in the next video